Hey guys and welcome back. So today's video is going to be my March favorites. Um, I haven't done a favorites video at all this year so this will be my very first one of 2015. The past couple months I just really haven't been in love with anything new lately and so I didn't want to put out a video or a monthly favorites video without actually really loving loving something new that I haven't talked about before on my channel. My last favorites video I actually did was the yearly favorites and that was uh, best of beauty of 2014 or something like that and that was my last like monthly favorites video. So I have been loving a lot of new things these past couple months and um, I wanted to share them with you guys. So I'm going to start with beauty and then I'll do some like random or I'll start with makeup and then I'll do some random beauty things at the end. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is a face product and it is actually a foundation that I have been absolutely obsessed with. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. So this is what it looks like and I got mine in the shade Natural Buff 103. I just recently did a first impressions using this foundation and I have to say I cannot put this down. It is a completely full coverage foundation. Now the shade that I got is a little bit dark on me, but with my self tanner it looks absolutely amazing. I love this foundation so much. I definitely am almost halfway through already and I want to say I just put that video up like two or I filmed it like three weeks ago or something like that love this foundation if you haven't tried it and you're on the fence about trying it definitely go pick it up i highly recommend it if you like full coverage foundations it's amazing so that's my first favorite uh, my next favorite goes right along with that and it is the powder and this is the infallible pro matte 16 hour matte finish powder mine is in the shade nude beige so that is what it looks like. I talked about this powder the same time that I did the first impressions on the foundation. I will go ahead and link that video down below if you guys are interested. But this powder is everything. This is a full coverage powder. I definitely think these two products work hand in hand perfectly. I also think that you could use this on its own or with different foundations as well. These two products are extremely long lasting. Um, they are full coverage products, but I definitely do not think that they're um, cakey in any way possible. I absolutely love them. So those are my definitely top two of the entire month, last two months, last three months, top, top products ever. So now moving on, I actually do have another powder and this is the NYC Smooth Skin BB Radiance Perfecting Powder and this is in the shade Natural Beige. Again, I did a first impressions review on this product and I gotta say again, I cannot put this product down. It's absolutely amazing. I don't necessarily use it with the NYC um, BB cream that I did the first impressions on. That BB cream I am still just on the fence about. It's not my favorite, but this powder is amazing. It's so silky soft. It is a, like, I want to say you could build this up to be a full coverage powder, which I don't usually use like powder foundations, but I love this so much. Even if you have like a light coverage BB cream, I definitely think this would make it medium coverage. I absolutely love it. Again, it's super, super soft, super easy to work with. The only bad thing is I think they only have like two or three shades. Um, so that's like the only downfall of this product, but it is amazing. Amazing. I love it. So if you guys, um, want to try this out nyc is super inexpensive i think this was like three four dollars or something like that so you can't really beat it sticking along the lines of face products i do have a new blush that i want to talk about and this is the milani powder pow, powder blush yeah milani powder blush and this is in 08 t rose so this is what it looks like these used to be limited edition and now they're part of their permanent line and i do have coral cove which i have raved about for months and months and months and i just recently picked this one up in my last drugstore haul and I have been using it every single day. It is just a very very natural soft pink blush. It goes with pretty much any eye look, anything that you want to do. It's super natural like I was saying. So that is the color right there. Again it's so so pretty. I absolutely Oh, it's it's just a very very natural looking blush and you can build it up as much as you want just like the coral cove one just like any of the powder blushes 
absolutely amazing. Completely matte and a great, great blush, especially if you are not into the big pops of color on your cheeks. Maybe if you just want something more natural, it's amazing. So sticking with Milani, I actually have two new eyeshadows that I picked up. I want to say like two weeks ago and I have been using them every single day. It's not what I'm wearing on my eyes today, but I've been wearing it this entire last week every single day and I love these. These are my only two Milani eyeshadows that I own at the moment, but I love them so much. I definitely want to go get some more because they're amazing. This first one that I am in love with is this uh, 27 Bella Mandarin I think it is and it's just a beautiful and this is like a satin finish it's just a beautiful orange um, satin shade oh my gosh it's so stunning I absolutely love it and I'll do a swatch for you guys and then the other one is 30 uh, Bella Diamond and this is also a satin it's just a really pretty like off-white almost white but kind of like an off-white uh, shade and it's also satin as well did i say it was satin yeah it's satin. i usually use the bella diamond for um highlighting under my brow and also in the inner corner of my eye you can use this with this is actually pretty white it might be exactly white but i think they do have a whiter formula one but again they have a matte one and this is the satin one so i've been using it for underneath the brow and for the inner corner highlight and it goes with every single eye look Ever. like I absolutely love it and the other one I'll do a swatch is stunning I don't even use a transition shade I use this one as my transition shade and I just wear these two together so right there is Bella Mandarin so I'll stick this one in my crease just with a big fluffy brush and then I'll take a more concentrated brush and stick this underneath the uh, brow and in the inner corner and I just wear those two shades nothing else just these two shades and it turns out stunning almost every single time they're so easy to blend they're very very pigmented and they're really not that expensive I think one is like $3.99 or something like that and I bought buy one get one 50% off that's not a bad deal especially since they're so great in pigmentation and they're amazing quality Ugh, I just love them so I definitely want to go pick up more but these are definitely my favorites of these last month so sticking with the eye theme I also did a first impressions on an eyeliner and this is the Revlon Colorstay skinny liquid liner and this is what it looks like um, if you guys watched that video you've seen how um, I applied it and it kind of like burned my eyes and I just don't think that I'm used to a liquid liner um, this is my very first liquid eyeliner that I ever started playing with usually I only stick to the gel liners which Maybelline uh, gel liner has been my favorite for years now or I stick with felt tip liners so this is my first liquid liner and I just think I was just kind of caught off guard with how it applied and how it felt. Um, it's definitely straight liquid, but the wand or the applicator on this thing is so crazy thin. Like you can barely even see that. And that's what I have um, my wing. I use that for my wing today and it's so precise it's so jet black i haven't had a problem with it transferring at all like if i was to curl my eyelashes it doesn't transfer on my um, eyelash curler it doesn't bleed it doesn't smudge i just absolutely love it it stays in place and this is by far my favorite eyeliner of everything even my gel liner that i've been using for years and years this is definitely the one that i've been using every single day that i want to use one again it's not brand spanking new but i've never tried it before and it's the revlon color stay skinny eyeliner and they actually have these in multiple colors not just black i think they have like a blue and a purple and a green maybe or something like that but love 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 this liquid liner if you are in the market for some good liquid liners i would definitely say try this one out it's amazing so next i want to talk about some mascaras and both of these i also did first impressions on um one is the wonder lash the rimmel wonder lash mascara with argan oil and that's what this looks like and the other one is the maybelline lash sensational and that is what this one looks like 
Now, I love the Rimmel one on its own. I've been loving it for months now. When I first picked it up, I wasn't too sure about it, and then I started using it over and over and over again, you know, trying to get a feel for it, and I absolutely fell in love. Like, I'll use this on its own if I want it natural. I can build it up to be more uh, voluminous, and just my lashes separate really easily with this wand and with this formula. And then I ran across the Maybelline Lash Insatial. Now, if you guys watched my first impressions on this mask, you guys knew that I was just on the fence about it. It was something that I wasn't wowed about, but I was willing to give a shot once the formula dried up a little bit. Well, instead of waiting for the formula to dry up a little bit, I actually applied this, and then right over the top of it, I decided to use this. And these two together, oh my goodness, they're heaven. I've been loving these two together. This one I will not wear by itself. They make my lashes so long and so volumized and so separated. I just love it. I love it. So definitely, if you're not sure about this Wonder Lash, try it with the Rimmel or try it with even a different mascara and you might be surprised how your opinion might change because I honestly don't think this formula is good enough for me or for my eyelashes to use alone. But if you try it with a different mascara or on top or, you know, combining it with a different mascara, I think you might like the results a lot better like I did. So definitely have been loving these two mascaras too. Next is an eyebrow pencil. This is the Maybelline Brow Precise uh, Soft Brown Shaping Pencil. So soft brown is the color of the pencil. This is one of the new brow um, items that Maybelline came out with. It has the spoolie on one side and then it has the pencil on the other. Um, this I talked about, I don't even remember what it was, what video it was, but I was unsure, I think it was my drugstore haul, I was unsure about this color. I thought that it'd be a better match than the blonde color of the eye pencils, and I have to say, it's what I'm wearing today. With such a light hand and amazing spoolie brush like that this has, it just blends out so nicely, and it just, oh my gosh, the formula is so soft. It's like a coal pencil, pretty much, which it doesn't even say that. It doesn't say like coal brown liner but it's so stinking soft you barely have to touch it on your eyebrow and it just like melts and then with the spoolie this is a hard spoolie and so it definitely brushes everything out again it's what my brows are doing today you can fill them in really really harsh or you could do it more like me which which is very very natural usually what I'll do is I'll just spoolie them out first and then I'll take the pencil side and I'll just line right underneath my brow all the way from tail all the way to the front of it and then I'll take the spoolie side and I'll just brush up from the front of it all the way to the tail and then I'll go in and fill in any sparse areas that look like they may need a little bit more but oh my gosh easiest brow ever seriously takes two minutes to do both brows so amazing I absolutely love this color if you're blonde like me or if you have like a darker like natural color like this is where it's at it's amazing Ugh, you have to get it this is the L'Oreal infallible makeup extender setting spray oh my gosh yes I was very upset with L'Oreal that they priced it at $17.99, but I would pay more for this. My mom actually bought this for me. I was shocked that she even did that because I didn't I didn't even want to purchase it for myself because it's drugstore. Like drugstore is not supposed to be $17.99 for this bottle, but I would honestly pay more for this setting spray. I absolutely love it. I use it every single day with my makeup. I'm gonna even use it now because why not? It's just amazing. Like I love it. I don't necessarily see my makeup extending with this product maybe like 30 45 minutes but i definitely see my makeup just looking so much smoother and the powders just soaking in and everything just blending out so nicely with this product i use it like twice a day every day and i absolutely love it and i still have a bunch left so i've been loving the setting spray a lot if you haven't tried it out, it's definitely worth the $17. And even check um, Walmart, or you could even buy like something that's like the same price and get the buy one, get one, and you'll be saving a little bit of money. The last kind of makeup-y item is um, this brush. And I got this in my drugstore haul, the last one that I posted. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. And this is what it looks like. It almost looks like a blending brush, but it's a little bit oversized to actually blend out my eyeshadow. So I've been actually loving using Using it underneath my eye um, I have like really small eyes and so like under like in this area it takes a lot of powder I want to say to try to get 
it not to crease and with my eyes like I naturally have creases right under here and so I know concealer is always going to crease on me but with this brush it makes it so much easier to set that area and I have to say that my eyes have been creasing a lot less with this guy because this guy is like small enough to get in there but it's big enough to cover underneath my entire um, under eye area and I absolutely love it. I think this was like three dollars too So elf you can't beat that if you're looking for a good under eye uh, Brush I definitely would check this one out. I think I got this from Target. Okay, so moving on to a little bit random stuff um, The first thing I want to talk about is the fishes and for physicians formula argan oil and this is what it looks like I love this what I do with this I don't necessarily use it like in my hair and on my face which I do want to start using it like mixed in with my moisturizer but I haven't what I've been doing using this for is my cuticles um, when I take off my nail polish and you know push my cuticles back and do all that fancy stuff with your nails I like to take this right before I apply my nail polish and put it on and let it soak and really soak for like 10 15 20 minutes and then I'll go ahead and wash it off and I'll paint my nails Put the top coat on and then I'll wait for it to dry a little bit and then afterwards I'll drip this on my nails again and just leave it overnight because I usually paint my nails at night and this has been making my hands so stinking soft I love this this is definitely something to look into like you can put this in anything you can use this in anything like you can put it like a couple drops in your shampoo that you love or you can put it you know mixed in with your moisturizer or anything like mixed into your lotion whatever I love this I have a hairspray that I wanted to show you this is the L'Oreal locket weather control hairspray up to 48 hours hold extra stronghold I definitely would not say the 48 hour claim is right but the smell of this is so good and it is not like a stronghold that you're going to get that crunchy feeling. It's more of like a stronghold where if you have curls or um, like if you have flyaways, it will hold those down. But it still gives you like that tousled look and not crunchy. Like I love it. I love it. I love it. So this has definitely been my favorite hairspray for like the last two months. Always keep on some L'Oreal. Love it. A perfume that I wanted to show you and I don't even remember what this is called. I wish I kept the box. Um, but it looks like this and it's by Juicy. It's not the Viva La Juicy. It's a different one And if you guys know the name of it, please let me know it has um, it's more of like a florally scent and um, It's not like so sweet. It's like more florally, but I have been loving this um, If you guys know the name of it because I threw away the box um, Let me know in the comments below because I definitely want to pick some more up I have not gotten as many compliments as I have with this perfume, okay, for example, last Saturday I went out, I think like at least 10 people came up to me and said, oh my gosh, you smell so good. This I have been absolutely loving. So many compliments, best perfume of the month by far. My last like beauty related thing is this tanning lotion. And this is the Tanceuticals CC Color and Correct Self Tanning Body Lotion. And this is in the color dark. Um, I posted a picture not too long ago about, um, it was like my after workout picture and I was wearing this, um, self tanning lotion. I will be doing a full review and demo with this bad boy, but I have to say he is definitely a favorite. He puts off the most beautiful sun kissed glow without being too over the top, too orange, too dark. This is in the shade dark but it's just so natural and so beautiful and it lasts a really long time and it's definitely in my monthly favorites for a reason. Again, I don't want to say too much about it because I want to do a full review for you guys, but I have been loving this stuff. Yes, Tanceuticals. So my last couple things, one little cute thing that I wanted to mention is this little teeny tiny pack of gum. Isn't this so adorable? I was actually going out for my best friend's birthday and I needed some gum, but I didn't want to buy a whole pack. I was carrying my little um, clutch and I didn't want anything too bulky. And I was like, hey, what's your cheapest pack of gum? And he's like, oh, it's something over there. It's like 69 cents, it's in a little square. I was like, a little square, what are you talking about? And he pointed this out to me. I was like, yes, I have to have this and this is actually the big five gum I think it is like they come in the big packs and this is in cobalt a cooling peppermint but I just thought this was so cute it comes uh, with six little pieces of gum and it's 69 cents 
so that's it's like a full size of gum it's perfect for to just stick in your back pocket or to stick in your clutch if you're going out or running out the door just need a little bit of something you don't need like a full pack of gum i don't even know where they sell them i just got them like on a gas at like a gas station like um like a little you know market at the gas station but i just thought these were so cute i definitely i'm gonna go stock up at the store because these definitely came in handy in my little clutch and my little clutch can't hold very much so i love these i just thought they were so cute i had to share with you look how tiny they are they're so cute my next things are some i have two shirts one i'm actually wearing right now this is one of them it's called well it says epic weekend and i'm actually wearing a sports bar with it right now so it's longer in the back Back and then shorter in the front so if you guys can see that I have one more that I picked up and it says hashtag homies and it's the same type of style it's longer in the back shorter in the front and it's like a tank top I absolutely love these shirts so I got both of these shirts at Target they were buy one get one buy one get one 50% off and I think I got both of them for like 12 11 12 dollars or something like that so i have been loving these i've been wearing them before workout after workout during workout like they're so comfortable and they're so lightweight they're gonna be perfect for summer and i noticed that they have like a big huge like selection of these they have all different sayings they have all different colors and i just wanted to let you guys know if you're like into like the working out or if you just need like a lightweight tank top like this um i definitely recommend that you check out target i got this one the white one i got in large but the one that i'm wearing right now i got in medium and they're very, very loose, very, very free, like flowing. Um, you can wear them with like, sometimes I'll wear them like with a bra and just like my jeans and just kind of like dress it up. Or like I'll be like today and just throw on a sports bra and throw on my workout pants and call it good for the day. They're super, super comfortable and super, super affordable. So if you're looking for something that's like this with different sayings on it, um, definitely check Target. My next favorite thing is my bandana. Now I have had this bandana four years now but I just recently got went to Michael's and picked up another one um, I also want to go back and get one in black now these I used to since high school I used to hang from my mirror for my rear view mirror and just have it in my car obviously this is a new one but lately I've been loving wearing it in like different styles um, I know there's a bunch of YouTube videos like um, about like how to wear your hair in like a bandana so um, you could look those up or if you wanted I could throw like two or three hairstyles including like a bandana um, on my YouTube page if you guys are interested but I have been loving 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 wearing uh, my bandana now you can get these for like two dollars at Michaels they have tons and tons of colors and I just think they're really cute especially if I'm wearing like an outfit like this just like all black and some gray or whatever or like a white outfit I'll just throw this on and call it good I'll throw my hair up in a messy bun or I'll leave it down leave it half whatever I just have been loving my bandanas so that's kind of like my my new thing lately okay so my last thing well two more things and then I'll be done is something along the lines of fitness so you guys all know that I've been working out for like the last two months or whatever this is a powder that I drink with uh, my protein drink so I have my protein and I also use this powder along with it in conjunction and drink it every single day after my workout like within 10 minutes of my workout and this is the GNC this is just the generic GNC brand this is the L glutamine powder 5000 and I just got a new one I'm almost done with this one this is glutamine is for um, like soreness so I take like a full like heaping scoop like one teaspoon heaping over and just put it in my drink and then I'll mix it together with like eight ounces of water and one scoop of my protein protein and this has saved me so many times from being so sore like don't get me wrong I'm still sore the next day but I guarantee if I did not have this in my protein drink I'd be a hundred times more sore so I have been absolutely loving this like I said it's just the generic GNC brand I can't imagine what this costs usually my stepdad just goes and gets it because he's like a member there or like a gold member and so he gets a, like a lot of percentage off but if you guys are looking for like a good recovery drink then I definitely recommend the GNC generic one 
Um, again, this is the glutamine. So if you're looking for like a recovery um, with sore muscles, glutamine is something to get. So my last favorite is an app and I don't even know where my phone is. Where is my phone? I don't even know where my phone is, but my app that has been my favorite since this whole workout thing is my fitness now i know my fitness is like a huge app that i know most people i wish i had my phone that most people already know about but um if you're like new into the workout um world this my fitness app tracks your progress it tracks your uh, calorie intake it tracks your exercise routine it tracks your weight it tracks everything for you and so it puts the hassle and the calculating and all this stuff that you don't want jumbled up in your head in an actual app and it updates you every single day it reminds you when you need to eat it reminds you how many calories you still need for the rest of the day so that has been a huge huge lifesaver with this whole fitness world that I'm getting myself into. All right, everybody, sorry about that. My camera died, but the good thing about that is I can show you guys what the app looks like. Uh, I don't remember where I left off, but <clears throat> this app is pretty much a lifesaver to me um, because I don't have to keep track of it on paper. I don't have to keep it in my mind. Um, I don't have to worry about anything. It's all on this app. So on my phone, this is it right here. I just keep it um, right on my one of my front screens. So this is what it looks like, my fitness pal. And I'll go ahead and click into it. And it's really cool because Under Armour just started sponsoring them and working with them. So that's always nice too. So this is the front page. Um, this is uh, how many calories I have left it also gives you like fun little things um, like um, recipes and you can share with your friends I don't necessarily share my post or anything like that um, but it's just me personally for my personal progress and my personal goals and my personal calorie tracker so I just wanted to share that with you guys if you guys are interested in um, you know starting fitness or you guys uh, may not have already known about fitness pal then it's just a really cool app to have um, if you're new into fitness or like I said if you have been into fitness and just didn't know about it um, it is a free app and it's available on Android and on uh, the other one iPhone I'm pretty sure this is not sponsored at all but I just thought it was like a fun little app my stepdad actually told me about it okay also, I lied. I have one more favorite that I wanted to mention, and it's a really fast favorite. I posted a picture of this guy on my Instagram um, probably like a month ago by now, but this is just fresh ice water with cut lemons in it. I usually put like three slices of lemons in it and like around probably like 10 o'clock in the morning and then I'll just keep refilling it with ice and water and then at the end of the day I'll dump out the lemons um, or the next morning I'll just dump out the lemons and cut new ones and I just fill my glass every day and you know I thought it was really refreshing and then I was talking to my sister my best friend and it was really funny. She goes, oh, you have lemon water? Do you realize how good that is for you? I was like, no, I just thought it tasted good. But apparently lemon water or fresh lemons or any kind of like uh, mint or um, anything like cucumber water is absolutely amazing for detoxing your body, which I had no idea. I just thought it tasted really good. But apparently lemons also speeds up your metabolism. So it's good for weight loss. It's good for um, detoxing your body and flushing all the bad stuff out. And I guess it's really good to do when you're on a diet. So it's just a plus in my book, but I thought I'd share it with you. Um, I heard Jacqueline Hill actually talking about uh, making her own waters, but she puts like mint and lemon and cucumbers and like with the fresh greens and stuff like that in hers. And she just keeps like a big jug. I don't do that I just keep my little glass no one else drinks my lemon water my daughter might sip off it every once in a while but it's just for me so I just fill up one of these plastic cups and you can get them at like Walmart this is like an older one but I got my big one at Walmart for like three bucks and um, I just fill it up with ice every day and cut three slices of lemons and um, I buy like a big huge bag of lemons I think for like three bucks or something like that so really inexpensive and if you're not really too into drinking water all the time um, adding lemons here and there or like every other day really helps me personally drink more water because I just think it tastes better water is so plain already and unless you're working out and extremely dehydrated water is probably not the one thing that you're going to be drinking all the time um, me personally that is my goal is to drink only water nothing but water and I've been really really good at it except this last month um, I've been kind of slacking on it and that's why I threw in some lemons and I've been just keep drinking that water and so it definitely helped me I just thought it might help you too so like I said um, 
I do want to start doing some fitness videos. I do follow P90X and there is like a full workout plan with that. But I thought it'd be fun to do some recipes that I have came up with really fast, easy um, for the woman on the go or the stay at home mom that just doesn't have time. Um, all my recipes are really, really simple um, that I pretty much just pulled off of Pinterest and then um, made them more fit to me and more fit to myself and the calorie in intake that I wanted to do. Um, so if you guys are interested in that as well, then I'd be more than happy to do that. I know a couple of you did say on Instagram that you wanted me to do like a fitness uh, routine, which that is so fine with me. I'm I'm happy to share that with you, but I just want to let you know it is just the P90X uh, fitness program. So it's nothing extra added on and nothing less. So it's pretty much just straight P90X all the way, baby. So yeah, I think that's it for my monthly favorites. Again, um, I will link the videos that I talked about, like the L'Oreal and the first impressions. I'll go ahead and link those down below in case you missed them. Um, the tan suticals, this tanning lotion, make sure you keep an eye out for that. I also have a couple giveaways coming up, so make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed so you guys have a chance to enter in my giveaways. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my March favorites. Let me me know what you guys have been loving for the month of March and until next time guys I'll see you later thanks everybody